what is it guys welcome back to another vlog i finally got the caliper fixed the machine shop guys were able to take the boat out and i got um a new brake bleeder screw so i'm gonna just toss this back in bleed all the brakes and then we should be in good hands again just got the caliper back on i gotta do two more of these clips in the front and then after that i'm gonna bleed the brakes and then I'm gonna test it out. Well, I can't even test it out. I gotta beat the clutch too, because my clutch is cooked. I don't know why. I did order new lines and everything, but they're not gonna come in until like the end of the week. So we'll just see what happens. There are there also is some other stuff that came in today as well that, I, that I'm gonna show you guys in a few after I finish bleeding all the brakes and stuff. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I bled the brakes and everything went well. Then I was just like, let me just bleed the clutch to see if this will work. It ended up not working at all. All the fluid that was in the slave was black. And then once I got all the fluid out, and I put the new fluid in and tried to bleed it, nothing was coming out. So I'm guessing the hoses are cooked or the slave is cooked, the master slave, whatever. Something is cooked. I did order the parts, but they won't be here until the weekend. It is currently Wednesday. So unless the shipping ends up getting here sooner than later, which would be sick, but I doubt that would happen. So for now, I'm gonna install these gauge pods that I got from Rally Road. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these before where like it sits literally like like this so i'm gonna basically take these out i do have a different vent i have an extra vent to go here so i'm gonna swap the vents out and then i'm gonna move this one to be up here too so basically both the gauge pods are gonna come out through here so i'll <laughs> i'll catch you guys when i take this off also while i'm here i'm gonna be swapping out this little piece right here this knee piece i don't know what, what it's called but right here is cooked and because it's cooked i can't screw the brew on top <laughs> because it's cooked i can't screw the boat on right here so we're just gonna swap it out okay i just got both gauges out or both corners i got the wires down here don't mind the mess I'm about to start putting together this and figuring out where I want, how I want the gauges to sit and all that stuff. See, so yeah, I think I'm supposed to mark two holes right here for this thing to sit like something like this maybe, I'm guessing. Somewhere around here, but as you can see, there's two holes at the bottom. So I'm basically just going to mark the spots, drill a hole through this plastic piece right here, and then I'll basically bolt this up. So I just got everything bolted back up. As you can see, we got the new vent in. Also changed the panel. The old ones are over there, cooked. Um, let me show you what it looks like with the key on. Bear with me while I find the keys. God damn. All right, so this is how it looks with the keys on. I'm definitely gonna have to raise my seat at some point because I can barely see over the steering wheel. See, this is my view right now, the same view that you guys have. If I raise my seat, I would have more like of this view and then I could see the gas gauge and the temp gauge. But for now, this should be fine. It's definitely way better than one gauge being over here and the other gauge being down here. And it also looks way more cleaner too, now that the gauge is gone. But the most important fact is since the gauges are right here, I can see what's actually going on versus me driving and having to stare over here just to look at this gauge or stare down here, just look at this gauge up here. So I think this is pretty good. Comment down below what you guys think. I do have more stuff coming too. So you guys will see in the next upcoming videos what I've got for the car. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but just having the gauge pods right here just makes the interior look way more nicer. Like it just feels, the car feels more clean. Like just seeing this hair and not seeing it here and there. It's like, it's not like there's less stuff going on just having it right here. And then also, I'm thinking about how to find, well, I've been looking for next, another, fuck! Oh my God, bro. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I've been looking for another seat to match this one. I found two of them. So maybe I'll see what's up. And then I'm also gonna get door panels as well because I'm tired of seeing this. I hate seeing this. I know y'all hate seeing this too. So this has to go. And I gotta figure out a situation for this to make this work because those little handles, they don't last long and they break. Same thing for the out, the outer door handles too. They break easily, bro. Like literally you just go on it and it broke. I've broken three of these already. And that's why like I haven't even thought about just replacing it again because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break it again.
So door panels, matching seat, and then I think once I get the matching seat, I'll do the the upholstery and get them M rain. So it'll be like M rain through here. Well, basically through here since I'm in the seat. The seat's gonna get tossed or whatever. And then same thing for the back seats as well. M rain suede. I'm gonna redo the headliner as you can tell. It actually doesn't look bad because like I just re-glued it. But if you look in this corner right here, yeah, we can't be having that. But just little little things to make the car just feel more comfortable and more nice. And also, I want to get some three-piece wheels, man. I don't know, but three-piece wheels is three-piece money. <laughs> I've been seeing shit for like 2,500 to like 3K, 4K. Shit is crazy, but I'm tired of these gray wheels. I know a lot of you guys actually like the wheels, which is surprising to me. They're actually not that bad, but I just want some chrome wheels or some, some chrome lips with polished, polished rims or whatever. Whatever you call it, bro, but I need that look and I want to lower the car more too. So I just want like I want like the perfect spec wheels so I could lower the car and not have to touch the suspension again and just be happy, bro. Like I want to be able to enjoy the car as much as possible. Also, this steering wheel has to go, bro. Like, what do you guys think I should get for a steering wheel? It's worn down. The steering wheel's on its last stand, honestly. Like, look, this is the last, <laughs> the last part of Alcantara on the wheel. It's literally on the sides where you don't touch it at all. So I want a new steering wheel. Let me know what you guys would want to see steering wheel wise. Also, let me know what type of mods you guys want me to do. I know like I've done a lot of mods already. The car is fucking turboed. It's the car yellow, the color of the car I wanted. I feel like there's almost nothing left to do besides just making the car more clean. So let me know what type of mods you guys would like to see on the car. Yeah, after that last clip, I went on Facebook and like, one of the seats that I was talking about that I said I seen that was for cheap, I ended up hitting the guy up, like lowballing him to see if he'll take it. And he took the low ball and I went to Long Island to go pick it up. So this is the seat right here. It is in rough condition. Literally, it's cooked. Bolsters are cooked. But I got the seat for a hundred bucks, so I'm not even gonna complain. And what I'm thinking about doing is just basically redoing all of the foam it's actually not that difficult to do and then i was gonna buy the fabric and basically i would just cut all this out line it up with the the new fabric and then um sew it all back together and then just put it on the thing with the spon sponges or whatever you call this cushion with all of that repaired and then i would basically have the fabric that i want with suede or alcantara on the sides this is basically the fabric that I want to do. Like, this is the look I'm going for, but with my seats. This is called M-Cross, and I have an M-Cross shift boot. But once I get the interior, I'm going to change the shift boot to just suede and, and the Alcantara e-boot. If you guys want to see the process on that, let me know. Comment down below. If you guys think I should do something else, comment down below. But otherwise than that, this is the end of the vlog. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.